today, let's take a look at how to document your web build process. As an agency, you know you need to document your web build process to keep your team on track, but perhaps you feel overwhelmed and just don't know where to start. Hey, my name is Lee Matthew Jackson. I'm the host of the Trailblazer FM podcast, and I'm proud to be a Cloudways Maverick. In this video, I'm going to share with you how we document as you go. Many moons ago, we didn't really document anything in our agency. We all kind of thought we knew what we were doing. And sure, I knew what I was doing. Tim knew what he was doing. But Tim didn't know what I was doing. And I didn't know what Tim was doing. You can already see things might start to get a little messy. Over time, each project looked very different with different people doing different things or developing in different ways. Without documentation or knowing who was doing what, things would often get missed out. This would of course lead to project delays and worse, the breakdown of a relationship with a client. Since we adopted documenting as you go in our agency, we've been able to develop some great processes that are easy to follow and keep everybody on track. It is now clear who does what and when. We have a streamlined and repeatable build process. Nothing gets missed. We deliver on time and we no longer lose clients mid-project. Now, before you close this video thinking, oh, document as you go, sure, I'll just record everything and write it down. Let me share with you what you should include in your documentation. It's really key that you follow this structure. First, you want to include a description of each step of your workflow, then the order in which each step should be carried out, the tools and resources that you're gonna need for each and every step, who is responsible for each task, and of course, when the task needs to be done. With these key ingredients, you can get started with the document as you go process. The first step is to write a journal. This is essentially the diary of a project. Crack on with a project as you would normally, but start to write down each and every step that you are going through. Have your teammates do the same for their responsibilities as you can collate everything at the end of the project. As you keep your journal for anything that requires instructions, rather than writing down a bulleted list with screenshots, a quick way we find is to record our screen and literally do the work recording as we go. At the end of the project, we now have a journal and a series of videos that we can use to package together into a finished process document. With the collated journals, you can now create your main headings. That's essentially the main steps of your workflow with your overarching description. As you review the journal, you can also start to understand the order everything was done and change things. If things don't make sense when somebody did something, feel free to change and experiment. Think of all these steps or these stages as the chapter of a book. Once you have all of these chapters, write your intro paragraph, which kind of sets the scene for that chapter. And then you can bullet out each step of that process. Next to each step, ensure that you tag the relevant people who will be working on that step per project. That could be a job role rather than person, depending on the size of your team. For more complex steps that need some form of documentation, maybe it's mapping a domain, maybe it's setting up hosting, etc. Or you can have one of your admin team take the video and create a how-to guide from it, including stills from the video as screenshots. This could be referenced within the bullet. We would recommend you do this on some form of collaboration system like getoutline.com. This allows us to structure our processes, to reference other how-to guides, and of course for me as a geek, allows me to use Markdown to make the documents look gorgeous. Be sure to check out a link in the show notes for get outline. You can of course use any documentation platform you wish, Notion, Notepad, whatever rocks your boat. There are two big takeaways from this video. Number one is you can document as you go rather than trying to sit down and imagine the whole project in advance and create your documentation then. That's just far too overwhelming. The second is that a process document doesn't need to be thousands upon thousands of words. It can quite literally be a hierarchical bullet list with references to who needs to do what and references to the how-to guides. In fact, I would say that 
the best process documents are that simple format rather than tons and tons of information that are simply going to overwhelm each team member that tries to access and follow it. This is how we've managed to document our processes in our agency, essentially working the way our brains work. How have you done it in your agency? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, there is a link in the description to get outlined to check that one out. And whilst you're there, there's also a link to our agency resource pack full of information to help you grow your agency. Be sure to give this video a like if you liked the content. Why not subscribe? Hit that bell notification icon. And if we don't see you in the comments, let's see you in the next episode.